At the center of each Universal Periodic Review (UPR) is the state under review. To date, all UN member states have voluntarily participated in the review. The UPR is a cyclical process, with each cycle building on the next. The success of the UPR depends on the sustained engagement of each state under review at every stage of the process. At the beginning of each cycle, the state under review is invited to submit a national report 12 to 13 weeks before the working group. The report provides information on the human rights situation in the country, including an update on the progress made and challenges faced on the implementation of recommendations since the previous UPR. The state under review is strongly encouraged to consult with civil society during the drafting phase to present an objective and accurate picture of the situation on the ground. Listening to the concerns of civil society, the voice of rights holders in an inclusive manner. During the working group, the state under review undergoes a three-and-a-half-hour examination of its human rights situation. It has 70 minutes to present its national report to its peers, provide additional updates on the situation since the report was finalized, and respond to any advanced questions received from recommending states. The remaining 140 minutes are divided among UN member and observer states for the opportunity to make observations, ask for clarifications, and suggest recommendations to the state under review on steps to take to improve human rights on the ground. It is up to the state under review to decide how it allocates its allotted time. The 70 minutes can be divided into several segments. An effective approach could consist of a 10-minute introduction outlining the national consultations that led to the national report and progress made on the implementation of recommendations, including any related challenges. The state under review can also take the opportunity during the interactive dialogue to reply to questions asked in advance. 50 minutes, organized in two or three installments, could be reserved to answer questions. The state under review can use a matrix to collect questions and recommendations during the interactive dialogue and to organize responses. In the final 10 minutes of the exercise, the state under review can focus its statement on three or four priority areas where technical assistance would be required to implement received recommendations. The state under review can decide to support or note recommendations received during the working group at the adoption of the draft report. Otherwise, they may leave recommendations pending until no later than the final adoption of the report at the Human Rights Council. Following the adoption of the final report, the state under review is expected to put words into action by implementing the recommendations it has supported. States are encouraged to develop an implementation strategy using a holistic approach, engaging civil society, national human rights institutions, and other actors, for example, parliamentarians or the judiciary, to create sustainable change on the ground. For each recommendation received, States must also analyze the differentiated impact of a situation on men, women, vulnerable and marginalized people in order to provide an adequate response. States that require technical or financial assistance to implement recommendations, a request can be made for assistance through the United Nations Voluntary Fund for UPR. Throughout the follow-up phase, States can report on progress made towards achieving recommendations Under Item 6 at the Human Rights Council, they can take the floor to update their peers on UPR-related activities, and they are encouraged to provide a comprehensive midterm report on the implementation of recommendations. Reporting contributes to a transparent process, more accountability, and ensures that each cycle does not happen in isolation. As a state-led process, the success of the UPR relies on the commitment of states to participate in the mechanism throughout the cycle. Through collaborative, transparent, and consistent engagement, states under review can drive change and contribute to sustained progress in human rights. For more information on the role of the state under review in the UPR, visit www.upr-info.org.